Uh, yes. Oh, so okay. For each fetch more call, uh, I create a task, and then I use a tasks array to uh, store those tasks so I can cancel them. Uh, because when you like scroll link down and suddenly stop, so I can stop prefetching and then I can stop those tasks to save some resource. When do you call fetch more? Uh, yeah, it's in the UI table view data source prefetching. Plus when do you change the, the change search? It. Yes. And the first time you open the, first time. the app. Yes. Okay. Do you want to run more than one task at the same time? Uh, no, just uh, you fetch page by page. Yeah, so if I'm fetching a page and I start typing a search, I want to cancel the page fetch because I'm going to start a new request, right? That's right, yeah. Otherwise, you may have conflicts of a request finishing after the other and showing the wrong result. So you never want to run more than one task at a time. So I don't think you should use an array in this case. Mm. I should just use one optional have task. Maybe. One optional task. Let's fix the problems now. There's going to help us. So you don't need this. What you need to do is call, just say task equals that. You hold a reference to it. Now, you just cancel ask and set it to nil. Mm -hmm. So that's the cancel case. Uh, like after I finish this task, can I set it to nil? Yeah, you can set it here. The end of the task. Right, uh, when you reach the end of the task, it means that you are done with the task, right? Right, right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and since this is all running in the main actor, this task is a property of a UI view controller. The UI view controller is a main actor, right? So it runs in the main actor. So every time you set a property in a context that is using the new concurrency model, you will make sure that you are calling or updating calling methods or setting properties in the main queue. So you are safe here because you are within the new concurrency model using a task. And you are executing this, calling these methods on a class, which is a subclass of your view controller. There is of the main actor. So Every subclass of UI view controller also inherits this main actor behavior. Mm -hmm. So setting properties or calling methods using the new Swift concurrency model will be automatically called in the main queue correctly. Okay. I'm pretty happy with the new async await concurrency model. It's pretty good. So uh, what if I do want to perform multiple task, uh, tasks at the same time. Does that mean like I need to use an array to hold my tasks and then uh, keep updating that array, adding and removing tasks? Depends what you're doing. Uh, if you're running a bunch of qu uh, requests that you want to synchronize, you can use a task group. Task group, yeah. Right? But if you're running like independent tasks and I want to be able to cancel them at any time, like, oh, there is a button here that can start a request, another button here can start another request, and they're completely independent. They're not part of the same group. They will run on its own time. And you want to manage them in an array, you can still do it. For example, you can create something like task. here you can access inside the block oh right so you can do something like tasks dot remove task and you remove that specific one you create a reference to it okay yeah 
So I need to define it before. <laughs> but I need to make sure that this block is called not immediately. If it's called immediately, you will have a problem because the task is not set yet. So this will crash. <laughs> 